<laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm gonna clean this up off camera. Well, hello there, friends and fans. Today we're gonna do another episode of Hydro Near, episode 5. Um, we used the ultimate stonks monies we made uh, in the episode 4. And I went and bought uh, a few conveyor belts, splitters, a harvester and some other um, uh, yeah, automation uh, stuff, uh, uh, machines, so to say. And I've just brought it all over here and right now it's a big mess. I already put the piping in because I've been testing a bit with it. Um, and well, we're just going to build... That's a nice music. Well, looky here, we have some <laughs> some dancing ranches. All right, thank you. Okay, so um, yeah, we're gonna build um, the, the automation conveyor system together today. Oh my God, <laughs> everything is just bouncing off each other. What is it? Oh, it's this one, isn't it? Oh, this one, okay, cool. Oh my God, okay, you know what guys? We're just gonna build this real quick. That way um, the noise is not going to be too much of a hassle. Okay, so I, I had um, an idea for a setup. I'm just going to build it and uh, I'm going to explain what I'm doing here, okay? So this thing right here I'm placing now is the harvester. This machine, um, it, it, um, it takes input from the top side dirt uh, when you uh, convey with the conveyor belts you can put dirt in the top and then uh, it splits the ores from the dirt like you do with the brush in the pan and then it spits them out right from the front now mind you this thing literally shoots the nuggets around your around your ears so it's <laughs> it's not just it yeah it's pretty it goes pretty fast but that's okay um, so we put a conveyor belt here and what I did when trying it out was putting two walls up. So essentially what happens is the ores get shut around really hard, but they shoot against the wall and fall back onto the conveyor belt. And then the conveyor belt, which is connected here right now, is going to bring them along into um, the splitters. I put one over here, I think. Just gonna have to see how this turns out in the end. Because of course I don't really remember how I build it anymore. But that's okay. We're just here to have fun and see this work anyways. Um, and I put them all right next to each other because it doesn't really matter. The only problem I have right now with this whole setup is um, the conveyor belts, especially the vertical ones we are using, um, which uh, put the dirt into the harvester. They need a whole lot of pressure and right now we don't have that much pressure. So we need to, We ha I have put here a, a pressure tank and it takes big shards to boost pressure. Um, that's pretty nice and all, but the conveyor belts need more. And the big shards that we can put in the in the pressure tank, they are found deeper in the ground. So yeah, that's that's gonna be a challenge. Let's see here, I'm gonna put this right over there and the other one right down there. Oh, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So the, the idea here is that we use the excavator to dig into the ground. Then use these conveyor belts to unload onto. And um, I just need to turn around, right? Or No, is that right? I don't think that's right. Nope, that's not right. So you, there, the water needs to flow through the conveyor belts and as well as all the way down here, like all these machines have water pipes in them already, which is pretty cool. Um, so you don't have to do extra piping, but they use pressure. So they need enough pressure to, um, 
to get all the dirt moving and the vertical ones are just a pain in the neck to to utilize because they need so much pressure and i hear you think like why don't you just make another set of pipes yeah that doesn't work that doesn't make it um uh, have higher pressure or anything so that's yeah that's not gonna work out so what i did here is um put conveyor belts underneath here like this and turn this nozzle off i don't know if it's on or off right now let's see what happens water comes out here that's fine this conveyor belt is going the other one isn't so this is probably turned off mm -hmm. why it Oh, <laughs> uh. what's going on? Why is it not? Well, that's stupid. Okay, so these work, this works. Oh, all right, cool. The water isn't coming through there. That's weird. Um, okay, well, that's okay. Let's just... Um, Put this up right now. This, yeah, cool. And then put this one right there. This is weird. I swear to God, guys, this was working yesterday. Okay, well, let's just grab another one. Maybe it's bugged or something. I don't know. Let's try this. <gasps> oh, you know what? There we go. Dang it. Okay, cool. So that was what I was talking about earlier. There is, um, There are valves on the, on the machines themselves to either uh, let water through or not. And from the looks of it, all these machines don't let the water through. Okay, that's fine. Is it? Do -do -do -do. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Alright, and then turn this one. Three. Okay, so now we turn this one on. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's the sound we want. Because that means that the water is coming through. Okay, there we go. Well, okay, cool. Then we place this one down, yeah, and we turn this one off because we want it running, but we don't want the water to come all the way through. Yeah. Oh, right, cool. Okay, so this works now. Now we have all the conveyor belts working. This one works. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay, this one needs to go there. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. So right now, what we want to do is grab these um, wall pieces. So actually our wall pieces, but that's okay. And we put them here. Did I do it like this? No, I did not. Did I? No, I didn't. We're going to use the other ones. Smaller ones. These. Yeah. Cool, cool. Okay, so... We want to do is like make a little ramp system here and put walls on top of that. That's is that a small one or long? I don't know. Well, 
Yeah, okay, cool. And then we place this wall section on top of it. Because the... Um, no, wait, I'm doing this wrong. I think I did it like this. Nope, I did not. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I need to figure this out. Yeah, let's do it like this. And then this... Oh, is a long piece. We don't need that here. Um, smaller piece because what happens is the dirt machine the excavator also shoots the dirt out of the side and um, yeah we want to of course we want to catch the dirt when it's um, being propelled so to say and um, just have it fall back onto the conveyor belts so it can be processed by the harvester and then um, so okay so let me explain what we have here right now so we have the excavator which we bring in back when we have enough pressure we can do it like this we bring the the excavator back then it um, shoots these dirt blobs onto the conveyor belt like this and well, you can see from the pressure already that it's not enough. And then it gets over here and it should be brought up all the way. Oh, this is going pretty well, actually. Okay, okay. Maybe we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Ah, too bad. <laughs> Let's see what happens here, if it actually goes in there, because yesterday... No, yeah, you see? So the problem here is the pressure is just not enough to push all that dirt up. So I went and ahead and did this to um, make it easier for myself to get up there. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we pick up this dirt piece, we walk up here. Look, look, here we go. Whoosh. Ah, that dirt didn't have any ores in it. Too bad. Another piece of dirt. Oh, you hear that? Oh, looky here. Got some ore. Awesome. That's pretty cool, all right? All right, and now it gets into the splitter if it's... Bad. Yeah, so eventually this stacks up and it pushes each other into the splitters. And what happens, the splitters will um, separate the different kind of ores. So in the first machine, gold will be filtered out and uh, brought out in the back. Second does iron, rubies and sapphires and shards. Now I've been trying, I've been f uh, fooling around with this since yesterday. So you can see I already have a full bucket of gold right here. We're gonna just drop that right behind here. So most of the gold ore will be um, will be caught in the bucket, but not all of them. Oh, there comes some iron. You see that? Oh, that's so cool. I'm so glad we did that stonks money, guys. Oh my god. Otherwise, we couldn't have done this so quickly. We would have to do a whole lot of grinding. And that's not something we'd like to do, necessarily. Not needed. All right. So I'm going to get the construction hammer now and we're going to hammer this whole place down because I've had a few times that I accidentally picked up a machine and that screwed up the whole process and we don't want that. Opa. A construction hammer. And eventually I want to build it like this that the conveyor belts just drop it in a more um, easier system, so to say, to... Um, yeah, there we go. So that the conveyor belts just drop 
the ores into a more easy system to um yeah how do you say that so it drops into a system where it gets collected all in one place and then i saw this on discord in max's discord so when you then um you have like a funnel so everything falls into one place and then you um have a crucible standing underneath it and just like a uh, roof a flat roof piece on top of it so the moment you remove the you hammer everything down except that one ro flat roof piece and when you pick up the roof piece it just everything that was on top of there falls through it into the crucible and you just put it straight into the fire and melt it into ingots it seemed very smart and i think i'm gonna try that in the future and i hope you guys will be there for me with me to see how that turns out let's see we have almost everything hammered down now i think yeah cool um yeah let's hammer this down as well just to be sure all right cool bam bam okay cool okay here we go so sometimes these uh, dirt blobs on the conveyor belt get bigger because they um, there are few and they converge together or something and we have a pickaxe and a pickaxe boop, look here it can just separate them so the, the, that's one thing I think that they should think about this incredible great harvester only takes small blobs of dirt All right, now I'm even thinking that it does that not everything has ores, but that's not cool. We want ores. Come on, guys. Give us good stuffs. Oh no, it's working. It just doesn't make the sound all the time. You see that? All the gold. <laughs> oh, that's so good. So, the goal for today is to use the excavator to get deep enough down there to find bigger shards and i've already read and heard that we need to use the shovel to get the best results so that's kind of sad oh, come on dang it there we go and then up up yeah there we go oh now there was a sound so i want to use the excavator to just get us like a deep hole or something and then maybe we can just um, we can then use the shovel to dig deeper and make us well to make it more efficient and get better drops off of it oh stop it stop. going too fast yeah these vehicles they drive kind of giddy so to say okay so now I just press E and look what happens Chew. Chew. you saw that it just here when you have two smaller blobs they just became one big one okay well we're just um i'm gonna turn this machine off because the one thing that i don't yet like about this whole come on re okay here we go um so there is a water filter here and the water filter breaks fairly easy and when it's broken you need to use those spanners or wrenches or whatever you call them to fix it and that's those are like so the spanners are only four coins cheaper than the water filter itself so it's quite expensive if you ask me but yeah i mean that's the price you pay for having an automated uh, factory i guess also um it's it's not actually that bad because if you see the amount of gold we get here it's 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 a lot so we're making like a huge hole here and i'm just using the excavator to dump down in it and just dig because it's so much faster i'm gonna go to bed real quick so you guys can actually see what's happening instead of these dark nights looky here look at that view isn't that beautiful guys yes it is 
Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit <laughs> stupid. I'm just going to drive into the hole with the arm down and just dig around. And that might get a little bit crazy. We're already stuck. And when I get stuck, I just use the unstuck uh, thing from the from the like this. So just use the unstuck button from the from the menu, and then the car spawns back because it doesn't have that great traction. Okay, here we go. Drive down the hole, the arm down, and just dig like crazy. Okay, well this is this is not how I expected this to turn out. Uh. All right, let's do this again, guys. Let's click on unstuck. Get respawn again. But as you could see, this whole car already fits down that hole, so it's a pretty deep hole already. So if we get down there with our bucket and shovels, we should get. Well, I hope we we would get some uh, better. Uh, Better loot. Oh, there we go. So essentially we're just trying to get a quick way, a quick mine shaft going right here. Ah, here we go. Yes, fill me up. I believe it should automatically stop when it's full, but I'm not sure. Look at that wheel flipping out. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Oh, look. It stopped turning at the front, so it's it's done. Oh, rad. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're out of... <laughs> okay, we're out of fuel. That's kind of sad. That's not really a problem, because I can just... I was expecting that to happen, so we can just grab this, put it down here. Yeah, that's the only thing I find kind of sad. There, the, you can't really jump up there, so you ha just have to have like a foundation block laying around, and you need to have a bucket with water at all times to just. If I just can get a little bit of um, water in there right now, I can drive it back here to our fueling station. But there is like this hill here. So I think I want to move this over to this side. Make like an extra T-pipe at this end. And just bring it further out here. So I can just drive the truck in and out from this side and refuel it. So I think guys, the next step would be to get in there with our bucket and shovel. Now I'm sorry this doesn't this isn't really a very um inspirational episode or something. There's not that much we can do right now. But oop, we've got our automation set going and that's pretty cool. We just need to get them shards. Yeah, and these trucks, they just drive like... Uh, well, the driving is something 
could, could use some improvement maybe. I mean, it's still in development. The game is still in development. It's it's coming out on the May 8th, guys. You can go to Steam and put it on your wish list. There's probably gonna be a link in the description. And um, eh. I'm curious if there is even any chance at all to get bigger loot out of the harvester, but I'm not sure. To be honest, I don't I haven't even had that much um, crystals or ores. Well I had a lot of gold ore, small pieces like that. And iron ore, but I don't have that much rubies or anything at all. Here look at it at work. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Everything falls next to <laughs> Look, there comes the iron ore. Oh that's so cool guys. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah, so that's essentially why I want to use a better um, collection system because this is just not working out that great. You know what I mean? I mean, um, uh, any more dirt? No, we don't. Okay, so what? Okay, let's just um, let's just do a little bit of it the old-fashioned way. What about that? What about that? Um, oh wait, here's one more piece. Let's throw that in. Yeah, it's only small pieces. That's kind of sad. I wish I wish it would just also drop bigger stuff. Because why would you do the automation part if you don't get the bigger parts of it? Hmm. Okay, well, let's just turn this off for now. To save the water filter and let's get our shovel, which is around here, I think. Or did I leave it over there? I don't Oh, no, wait, it's in the back of the truck. I got a better shovel, guys. I bought one. There we go. Okay, cool. Um, now we need the bucket. I'm so... I'm so messy. I don't remember where I put everything. The bucket is over here, I think. Right? Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Uh, oh. Well, I'll be gosh darn. Okay. Let's just... Um, can we get down there and get back up easily? Yeah, no, we cannot. Um, do I care? Oh, not really right now. Because we have the unstuck button. Or maybe we can actually get up here. See if we can. I want to try this. Nope, we need to... We need to do the unstuck thingy. Oop. Here we go. Do, 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 do. So that's something we need to work on, like a ramp system down there or something. And that's what we can use the bigger ramp pieces for. So we need to like figure out a way to get what we need to figure out a way down there, the easiest way. Path of least resistance, so to speak. Yeah, so this drop, this is the problem, this big drop. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so I think we just need to get um, a bigger bucket or more buckets. We did, I don't think they have bigger buckets. We need more buckets. Um, and we need. I'm, I need to re rebuild this few this, this water line. Oh my god! What? Um. Okay, you know what guys, um, I'm just gonna bring all this stuff over here for, for the crafting part. 
I might drive. I might cut out uh, driving around part of this because I don't think that's that much fun for you guys. See you guys in a bit. Well, okay guys, it took a whole day. I've uh, ran to the store a few times and um, just loaded up this whole wagon <laughs> full of uh, full of stuff so we can uh, get our operations going here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, redo the pipe works here and um, I've built, I've bought some roof pieces and some buckets, some pans, another brush, a crucible, a furnace, I don't know what else. Um, so we can just get this whole thing on the road. It's all show on the road. Um, and TP there now. Um, put it down here. We grab that one down. I know, buddy, I know. Um, turn it around like that. Yes, that's it. Okay, cool. Now I want this one here. This one can go on here. Yep, like that. Okay, I guess I'll just keep this here for the future. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let this keep this. Hmm. No, I'm gonna do this differently. Wait a second. Because why? Would I go this extra length when I already have my piping here? Over there, this one on there. Pick it up. Oh, wrong button. There and oh, there. Okay, cool. Some more. And now turn it around a bit. So yeah, now we're getting summer, guys. The thing is, I think I want to keep my operations going. Um, more or less on the on the dirt because it's easier to see but i might as well use the foundation pieces i still have laying around everywhere and just like place them somewhere like higher like this there, now i can just put my pan on there Filling up now, it's there. We go, and then this was the bucket we filled earlier. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put this foundation piece a little lower. Where is the we need to valve piece? Cool, Turn this one on so I know where to place the foundation block right there. Cool. Let's build a few around it. It's too bad we can't remove these plants because I really think they are kind of in the way. My operations. Yeah. Okay, cool. You see, now we can't see what's in there. Hmm. We need to think about that for a bit. I think I might, I may need even more pipes to get that done the way I want. Put the crucible out. And 
furnace needs to be placed. I think I'm gonna do this one over over here. Okay, cool. Another foundation block. Oh wait, I can't put it there because this is now also our fueling station. Let's put it down there. That's pretty. No, that's not cool. Dang it. Re, kind of. Okay, so that's not working out. Um, yeah. So the problem here is that I need to place this thing somewhere where I can place it, but. It needs to be on a foundation piece like this, but when the foundation piece is sticking up like that, I'll just put it over there then, fine. Why is there a gold nugget laying around here? Now cool brah, need, oh crap. Okay, cool, put this down there in here and now let's see where is the brush i bought there it is okay let's see what we have in the pan and that's the last thing i'll do for this episode i'm sorry this is not uh, a very um well there's not that much happening here whoa oh, oh my whoa <laughs> did you guys see that holy crap we got Three big old nuggets right here. Holy f What? Look at this. Three? Four? Which is raining nugget. Five? What? This is crazy, guys. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put them in. Do they even fit in the crucible? Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, put them in here. Okay. We'll put it on the fire and we'll get back to this in the next day. Okay, you know what? The last thing I'll do today for you guys is just see what kind of ingot we get from this. Okay, now I get that it's way more, it's way better to just grab it by hand. Yeah, I get that now. And I don't mind anymore. Look at that loot. Holy gee. That was big ol' crazy. Right there. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the other furnace we still have here from the first uh, dig site. And the other tools we need, like the hammer and the anvil and everything we have here. So we have... The um, blacksmithing hammer. Oh, maybe I should just... Okay, wait. You know what? I'm going to organize this a little bit better. Let me just put... put uh, up. Throw this off right here. Oh, no. Don't drive into the hole, please. Thank you very much. I'm just going to throw this out right over here. And I'll get to that, I think, next episode, maybe. I think so because then it's easier to get in and out. One bucket, another floor roof piece, two bucket, <laughs> three bucket, four buckets, and a pan. And the pan we need over there, of course. Now I'll just drive over here, load up the anvil, the blacksmithing hammer. Let's see, what do we have here? The blacksmithing hammer we're gonna need over there to make jewels and oh that's the wrong thing dang it the, um we need the blacksmithing hammer and the, oh where did it go oh no did it just disappear because oh no wait it's hanging there oh look at this oh, okay so we need the hammer the anvil to make jewels and and weapons from the ingots we we create a little bit cash run there we need this thing the mold casting mold yeah need to buy another one of those i think and small furnace 
crucible so i think i'm gonna just keep these going all the time with one one with gold and the other one with um with iron or something um i might need to maybe bring some more lights over there as well we might need to buy some uh um how do you say that wait let me sleep we might need to buy some of those uh, stationary lights that would be way better i think okay guys i'm gonna bring this over there we're gonna check out the ingot we got and um i'm gonna leave it there i think we'll just um we'll be right back tomorrow <laughs> Looky here, isn't that beautiful? No, put this one next to here, or maybe like this. Yeah, that's better. Okay, then we'll put the furnace on top of that. Small furnace. That on oh. hard. <laughs> Small nuggets. Wow, it almost make it seem like it's not even worth it to automate the whole process, right? Be. Almost. Thing. Yeah, yeah, probably it's okay. It's fine. I don't care. Look at those nuggets, man. We have enough money. Wow. Never have to think about that anymore. Gee. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I'm going to clean this up off camera and <laughs> I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. Um, and I'll see you next time. I'm Thirsty Thurston. Thank you for watching. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful day.